salons at the Zimmerly Art Museum um, in which we were doing themed programs. And one of the themes that we had had was uh, a program called Hidden Variables. And so I chose a bunch of literature that had uh, themes and variations on that theme. Um, but sometimes the theme was a little bit not obvious. Um, and what was special about the Shostakovich is that it's based on a string quartet, um, his eighth string quartet. And in that string quartet, the, the sort of the motif that runs through it is the initials of his name. So spelled out D, E flat, C, B natural, which in German uh, is D, S, uh, or is the pronunciation of it, and C and H, so Dmitry Shostakovich. Um, and so that was kind of like a little hidden theme that, that formed the basis of the reason it was included in that salon. I love the work so much that I decided that I was going to program it because it's been arranged for orchestra. And that became the theme that I built this whole program around because not only does he use his own name as uh, the uh, motif to build the piece on, but he also um, borrows works uh, from earlier in his career and includes them. And so thus the beg, borrow, steal theme came out of the Shostakovich. So it's actually the first piece that I programmed on this program and built the rest around. And... <laughs> Fascinating uh, historical detail about this piece is Shostakovich dedicates it to the victims of fascism and war uh, officially, but privately he had, he had told his friends that if 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 he didn't write it, no one would write his own epigraph. So this piece is actually dedicated to him because he he very uh, deeply felt himself a victim of fascism.